So here's a quick one about a no-nonsense guy, husband, who is kicking his wife to the curb after learning that she has been all along sabotaging any attempt to get pregnant with a child that he so badly wants. And I'm using the word sabotage carefully here because obviously what we're about to get into, it definitely is uh, can get a lot of people's blood boiling. I got to watch this sit here on YouTube. And of course, you know, she's not too happy about this whole getting divorced thing. Titled, Am I the a-hole for divorcing my wife because she lied about her fertility? Now listen to this. He says, I, a 38-year-old male, have been with my wife, Natalie, a 37-year-old female, for eight years, married for four. Natalie has a daughter from a previous relationship, Kaya, female 12. So our guy here married a single MOM. Uh, Kaya's dad left when she was a newborn. We have no idea where he is. Are you sure about that? I love her as if she were mine. She calls me dad and we has we have a great relationship. I told Natalie from the very beginning that I would like to have biological kids and she said she's open to having more kids. Open, huh? That's kind of a thing where it's like you go into the relationship and it's like, mm, no, I need to know you're 100% on board. Not open to it. Not 92%. No, no, no. 100%. Otherwise, it ain't going to work. After we got married, we bought a nice place and started trying for a baby. After a year, we did some testing and all came back normal. My wife said IVF would be too costly and hard on her body. <coughs> well, IVF is expensive, last time I checked, but still. I was secretly devastated, but I decided to come to terms with the fact that I'm never going to have any biological children. This was until a few days ago when I found that Natalie's sister, that Natalie, lied to me. She and her sister got into a fight at our house, and her sister screamed, at least I don't take pills behind my husband's back and claim I'm infertile. Does he know you had a procedure? The A-word procedure. Oh my God, all along, they're trying and trying. I mean, yeah, this guy's getting laid, but still. A guy who actually wants to hook up to have a kid, and a woman who actually wants to be on birth control. How, how ironic. All along, and she even got pregnant. And had the procedure. That's unforgivable. I was floored. My wife kicked her sister out of the house and started crying, saying she didn't want another kid and didn't want to lose to lose me. I can't believe she lied to me instead of take, talking to me. I just left. <sighs> a lot of guys would have reacted in a different way. I know we can blame them. They're married. They're a couple. They can afford it. He wanted a child. She knew this. And she's been sabotaging all along with the pill. And then when she actually got pregnant, she did what she did. Despicable. I was staying in my parents' house since then. And Natalie begs me to come back home. And she says, we can try for a baby. Kai even messes me to come back. My parents think I should just move on and give her another chance. Yeah, smack to the parents. She made a mistake and she apologized. Bullshit. Her all along taking the pill to make this not happen and then having the procedure. That's not a mistake, you idiots. Come on, this is diabolical, well planned out, everything. She's the devil. And maybe she has a great daughter because he took the role as the, sing as, the, as the stepdad here. And it's not the daughter's fault, but uh, you know she's putting the daughter up to bring him home. But begging and says we can try for a baby. I wouldn't trust her with, with your child. No way. Am I at the a-hole for wanting a divorce for this lie? No way. Uh-uh. That's unforgivable. He says, also, I live in Canada. I'm pro-choice. I do believe women have control of their bodies. Don't lecture me about her rights. Yeah, but this is, you know, it, how can I put this? If she was single, okay, and this was just a hookup, that's a discussion some people would have. But the fact that they're married and he wants children and they can afford it and there's, no, there's nothing obviously wrong with a child and she did this, no. But this is a different case. She lied to me. I can now have my baby in my arms. I had no idea she's against having more babies until a few days ago. The procedure happened one, a half, uh, happened one and a half years after our wedding. Yes, my baby. Yes, she saw me devastated and upset when she claimed we can't have a baby. I can't believe she lied to my face. Well, I can believe it. She's a selfish asshole because, hey, she got her child, you know. She doesn't want to go through all that. And she got you to take care of the child. Again... Single MOMs. Guys, you want to have a family? Get with a gal that doesn't already have kids. Doesn't mean that 
ones that already have kids won't have another one, but you're just asking for a lot of problems. Of course, they're not all going to behave like this, but good Lord. He says here, I can't believe she lied to my face. So is he the a-hole here? No, for, he's not the a-hole for wanting a divorce. Everybody's the a-hole. It's her. And not to mention her sister for keeping a secret from him all this time. But, and he knows how it only, he only got out because they got into a fight. And she just, ah, you, you, you know, for God's sakes. No, talk to your lawyer. Find out your options. Go bad or ugly. You're going to take a hit, you know, but hey, when that gets out, but what she did, let me tell you, her standing in the community ain't going to go too well. Now, of course, there's going to be people here that are going to still say he has no say on the issue. Bullshit. Now, I'm going to read a few comments here and <clears throat> wrap this up. One guy says, not the a-hole. That is not a small lie. I generally support women's right to choose, but lying is not a right. She did that to your child without discussing with you. That's a pretty high-level betrayal. She told her sister, but not you. How many people knew? How many people kept the truth from you and how long? I'm sorry, OP. Yeah. Again, back to his parents saying he should just forgive her. And, you know, it was just a mistake. Yeah, I'd go smack his parents too, including his mom. Yeah, I said that. But, uh, um, and if his parents aren't going to be by his side, I'd be uh, having a very long vacation from mom and dad. Another one. This is a this is from a mother. This is from a woman and mother. She says, I'm a woman and a mom. This is fucked up. Did you ever adopt your stepdaughter? She's the only one I would be concerned about in this situation. I don't think this amount of deceit and betrayal can be removed. And honestly, I would worry about that your wife would use her daughter as a bargaining chip in terms of allowing you to remain in contact, given she was willing to lie so blatantly. Guarantee you, she'll, I mean, it's not the first time in history pissed off mothers use the kids against the dad. Personally, I would tell her I would consider reconciliation and need some time while consulting a lawyer about potential for custody and co-parenting. If your ex doesn't agree, you may have more difficult decisions to make depending on what a lawyer says. Also reassure your daughter that you will always love her and, and want her a part of your life. I'm assuming this is based on how you describe your relationship. Well, she's not his daughter. I mean, he adopted her and he cares for her. I, well, I, I'm not sure if he said he adopted her. I can't remember, but... Yeah, she's the stepdaughter, and he I think he obviously sees her as a daughter and all that, you know, but but still, that's up to him. <clears throat> and last one, this guy says, not the a-hole. When you make a commitment to someone, you're supposed to be honest with them. This isn't about the cost of IVF or the hardship of pregnancy. It's about integrity and trust. Your wife made a conscious decision to deceive you and withhold crucial info about your future together. Now she's scrambling to make amends because she got caught. You have every right to feel hurt and betrayed. This isn't just about having children. It's about the foundation of your relationship. Only you can dec decide if forgiveness is possible, but don't let anyone press you to staying into a marriage built on lies. You cannot have a relationship, any relationship, without trust. This guy's every right to kick her to the curb. I 100% support this. And uh, my God, but now this guy has to deal with the fact that he wasted so many years of this broad. Now he has to deal with, obviously, the drama with... You know, back and forth with the stepdaughter, what he decides to do there. And again, he's mourning the loss of the child he could have had. I mean, you know, believe it or not, there are a lot of guys out there that want to have a family and want to have children, boy or girl. And that is just terrible. So anyhow, good for him. Kick her to the curb. And I wish this guy all the best.